Hello my darlings, I'm Twistay, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a film that proves that the past should never ever be brought up. I'm going to talk to you about the movie The Gallows. 20 years after a horrific accident happens during a school play, the same school wants to bring back that play again in honor of the tragedy. Things that are in the past should stay in the past. Otherwise, they will come back to bite you in the ass. One good thing about this film is the setting is done in a high school theater. It is dark. It is secluded. There are backstage areas to the theater that are completely shut out. Lights don't work. The element of surprise could happen to anyone at any moment and it just brings claustrophobia and your fear of the dark all up into the light. Now that's the only good thing to this film because everything else about this film absolutely fucking sucks. Your four main characters that you follow, their names are Reese, Ryan, Pfeiffer, and Cassidy. We all hate Ryan and Cassidy because Ryan is a big douche because he is following people around with his camera. Oh, by the way, did I mention that this is a found footage film? Yeah. And he is making his negative comments while he is filming. Like, he will say, like, oh, there's no hot people in the theater group. Oh, this guy, he is a total wussy. And just saying all these derogatory negative things that, mini spoiler alert, when he dies, I do not feel bad for him. I'm just like, I'm just so happy that he is gone. I don't even give two shits. This movie is very puzzle piece of a found footage film. People decide to go to a location where they're not supposed to be at in the middle of the night. People get locked into this said location. They start to walk around the building and they start to discover things that were in the past that is explaining, explaining to them why they're being hunted down. Now there's figures that are coming after them. It's puzzle piece cookie cutter of a found footage film that we have seen multiple times and have actually been executed much better than this. So that is really sad and pathetic. However, I will say one thing about this found footage film. There's two cameras. Does that make it better? No. Not at all. Alright my darlings, let's get down to business of what it has and what it has not. And I will let you know if the gals is worth watching or if you should just stay away from high school theater for the rest of your natural life. There are four horror cliches, the biggest cliche in this entire film, like I had said before, this is a found fucking footage movie. Come on, we need more than just found footage-ness. I blame all these other found footage movies that were actually good and other filmmakers are trying to say, hmm, I think I should do that too. That'll give me an ace in the hole. No, it won't. Total amount of eerie moments. There's four. One major eerie moment has to do in the way beginning where you watch this home video of the old original play where the guy has his horrific accident. And I gotta say, if a certain play had an accident like that before, like 20 years ago, and the subject matter had to do with this one thing, a gallo, then why would you even bring it up again to begin with? I have never seen a school play where they've had a gallo or anything of that matter. I've seen fake guillotines, I've seen rifles, I've seen lightsabers, but I've never seen a gallo. And I think this movie will prove to you why. Total amount of pure suspenseful moments. There are two pure suspenseful moments in the shithole of a movie. One of the guys has found a camera in its night vision and they are in the backstage area in the costume department and the entire time the buildup is just pure tension because you just hear his breathing, there's no silliness going around because you can just feel the pure fear behind this person and that's what actually benefited in this movie. 
However, of course, at the end of the suspenseful moments, there were stupid jump scares. There are 11 jump scares, and all of these jump scares are absolutely stupid. The main guy, Ryan, his friend Reese, and Ryan's girlfriend, Cassidy, they are inside of the theater. They're just filming the entire set, and it is complete quiet, just solitude, just nothing there. And then suddenly, you're boom, a shatter, so you turn around, and as it turns out, Cassidy is starting to throw the set and glass and pottery that all these students have worked so hard for and starts to destroy it. And of course, there are several other stupid jump scares, but I don't want to waste my breath anymore on this film. I'm going to give the Gallows movie one and a half out of five stars because you know what? It brought the horror element of being in a high school theater all alone at night is pretty frightening. If you guys care to see this, you will see why. The acting sucked, the concept of the movie absolutely sucked, this is not an original film, so you're not gonna miss out on anything if you don't even watch this. I'm, I'm serious, just don't. So have you guys seen The Gallows? What do you think about it? Do you think movies that are centered around settings that we are used to, such as a school or a house or even a neighborhood actually causes more tension. Please write your comments below and we will have a discussion about that. Do you have a horror movie that you would like for me to review, old or new, or even a foreign movie? Please write them down below and I will get to them as soon as I possibly can. If you liked what you've seen, please hit the like button and if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. So. Until next time, my loves.